we should discipline ourselves in small things, and from these progress to things of greater value, Marcus Aurelius. You have power over your mind. Not outside events, realize this, and you will find strength, Marcus Aurelius. How to act, never under compulsion, out of selfishness, without forethought, with misgivings, Marcus Aurelius. When force of circumstance upsets, your equanimity lose no time in recovering your self-control, and do not remain out of tune longer than you can help. Habitual recurrence to the harmony will increase your mastery of it, Marcus Aurelius. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. And this you have the power to revoke at any moment, Marcus Aurelius. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself and your way of thinking, Marcus Aurelius. The things you think about determine the quality of your mind. Your soul takes on the color of your thoughts, Marcus Aurelius. Reject your sense of injury, and the injury itself disappears, Marcus Aurelius. Stop allowing your mind to be a slave, to be jerked about by selfish impulses, to kick against fate and the present and to mistrust the future, Marcus Aurelius. Freedom is not procured by a full enjoyment of what is desired, but by controlling the desire Epictetus. No man is free who is not master of himself, Epictetus. No man is free who is not master of himself, Epictetus. No greater thing is created suddenly, any more than a bunch of grapes or a fig. If you tell me that you desire a fig, I answer you that there must be time. Let it first blossom, then bear fruit, then ripen Epictetus. The flourishing life cannot be achieved until we moderate our desires and see how superficial and fleeting they are, Epictetus. Learn to distinguish what you can and can't control. Within our control are our own opinions, aspiration, desires, and the things that repel us. They are directly subject to our influence, Epictetus. Desire and happiness cannot live together, Epictetus. Most powerful is he who has himself in his own power, Seneca. Hold fast, then, to this sound and wholesome rule of life, that you indulge the body, only so far as is needful for good health, Seneca. And as long as nothing satisfies you, you yourself cannot satisfy others, Seneca. Our life should observe a happy medium between the ways of a sage and the ways of the world at large. All men should admire it, but they should understand it also, Seneca. The heart is great which shows moderation in the midst of prosperity to Seneca. That moderation which nature prescribes, which limits our desires by resources restricted to our needs, has abandoned the field. It has now come to this, that to want only what is enough is a sign both of boorishness and of utter destitution, Seneca, a well-governed appetite is a great part of liberty, Seneca. 
If we were to measure what is good by how much pleasure it brings, nothing would be better than self-control. If we were to measure what is to be avoided by its pain, nothing would be more painful than lack of self-control. Musonius Rufus You will earn the respect of all. If you began by earning the respect of yourself, don't expect to encourage good deeds and people conscious of your own misdeeds. Musonius Rufus We will train both soul and body. When we accustom ourselves to cold, heat, thirst, hunger, scarcity of food, hardness of bed, abstaining from pleasures and enduring pains, Musonius Rufus. Thanks for watching.